guys, it's Young Loving Country Girl here, and I'm going to share with you um, our homeschool room tour. So we've got it pretty much all done. There's still a couple things, sorry about that, it went to a shadow, that um, I'm still waiting to get printed, and, uh, and then we'll be done done. <laughs> but for now, let me show you our homeschool room. Okay, so this is it. It's our homeschool room and my office. So it's kind of a crammed area. Um, it's only like a seven by nine room. It's very narrow and fairly small, <laughs> um, but it works. It gets the job done. There's no doors or anything, but we do have this beautiful, so it's very light and open. Um, and then we have a nice huge window. So it makes it feel a lot bigger than it is. But at the same time, it's a small space, so <laughs> and it's kind of been put together with pieces of furniture that we kind of had left over in other places of the house. So eventually, I'd love to get more nice, like good, not just IKEA pieces and parts. But for now, this is what we have. Um, we have our chalkboard here that we just did our pictures in front of, so we still have that on there. But normally, this is a great spot for if the kids are doing something, they write on this board. Um, if they're practicing letters or whatever, they're practicing. So it works great. We have a little reading spot on both sides. So if the kids have something to read, they both have their bean bags and their pillow so they can go and read. We have most of the books that we're using this year um, as far as school books and then a couple of their other favorite books are up here as well as a whole basket of kids readers down there and sight word and phonics books. So it's kind of like our little reading section. Um, our flag for doing the Pledge of Allegiance and our pencil sharpener and chalk. We also have this great big maps that we got at Costco a couple years ago. So we have a world one and then a United States of America one, which is great. And we have our alphabet and pictures above that. So it does have a nice high ceiling, which is great. We also have our space theme on this side, which is nice because we're going to study space this year. So about our planets and stuff. So, it, you know, we use our walls very, very thoroughly. <laughs> so that's kind of it. We um, have some more scrap paper, some more reading books, Play-Doh mats coloring books, some other busy kind of material, and then this cubby, and this one is my actual office stuff, except for um, like laminators and then some National Geographic videos. Um, of course, our diffuser, which we diffuse. Right now, we're doing Citrus Fresh because it kind of helps get you creative and awake. And I have my own diffuser. Yes. Um, then we have this cute little weather thing that kind of, you know, does the weather. And this is our morning board to kind of go over days of the week's weather season and remind us about the Pledge of Allegiance. And then I have my whiteboard, and this is the board that I generally use to teach lessons off of. I prefer to use a whiteboard over a chalkboard. Um, I just bought a plain whiteboard, and then I framed it out, and I actually haven't even finished staining it because it was a leftover piece of woods that I <laughs> used to frame it out. Um, then we have a printer and a copy machine. This is our little um, cubby for our laptops and stuff are all kept in these little slots along with, like, cooling boards and note boards. I have some paint and some water for our diffuser and some paint that I want to use to paint something in this room, but I don't know what yet. <laughs> um, and then there's just my cabinet, which has work stuff, more school books that we're using this year, and then more school books and stuff that we use in this cabinet. Um, then I have printer paper and a bunch of other junk under my desk, <laughs> things that I need to get to. And then um, this is kind of my work area for my desk. Um, and uh, we have... I have all my organization notebooks, and then I have the teacher notebook in here. And since I got this, I got the Happy Planner teacher notebook, and I really like it. Um, and I use my laptop so much, I just keep it out on the desk. But I'm going to actually get rid of one of these in December when it runs out. I have the Erin Conran, and I have the Happy Planner. And they both work awesome, but the Happy Planner is like a fraction of the price. And because I don't travel with it or take it anywhere, I think it'll be fine. I think if I was had it in my purse and was using it a, a lot, like on the go, that the Happy Planner might not be as sturdy as far as the binding that they use versus the actual coil binding from Erin Conran. But that's probably the only difference. So if you actually have it in some kind of, I think, you know, protective bag or something, like the Erin Conran actually sells those, um, I think you'd be totally fine. And as far as the layout and everything, they are 
virtually identical. Like they work so good. So <laughs> we used to have home and school up here. I did our family stuff and then each kids had their own school, you know, lessons were in these ones. And then this was all my work with YouTube and Young Living and then Facebook and blog and stuff. So um, basically I'm going to condense it into one since I have the teacher notebook and this is going to become like a family and then, you know, work and then, you know, YouTube or whatever. So since that's like a whole nother thing. So Young Living and then YouTube. <laughs> so that's kind of the plan. Um, and then I have a bunch of notebooks over here with just all things YouTube and creative ideas and stuff like that. Um, my devotional I've been doing in the uh, before we start school. And then I have a little prayer journal under there. So that kind of has everything really quick and easy. And then my Bible's just right in the cabinet over here. So that works really good. All of my oils that I love to keep stocked up on. Then we have this cabinet over here. And the top of this cabinet is more business work stuff, whereas the other one had a lot more school stuff. Um, but just the top of it, the bottom of it is all school stuff again, flashcards and things like that that we have in, in this one, as well as other supplies and stuff. It's kind of a mess. And then I just have some of my oil stuff up here on this side. So it kind of just can, you know, have a little display area if somebody come over and want to talk oils and what's in the kit. And then we have the kids, um, this spot right here, it's still blank. I need to print up our schedule and I want to put our daily schedule there so we can kind of adjust it and move it around. So that spot's actually left blank until I get that printed. Um, we have number cards up here and then we have this um, curtain rod with like little hanging uh, clips that you normally would hang like a piece of cloth curtain on. And we just put their artwork on here and, um, as it fills up, then we go ahead and I remove it all and put it in a file folder for them. You know, we keep certain ones and then just kind of fill it up again. So it's a great way to kind of display their artwork and let them have it, you know, up for a while. We have little cubbies over here. They each have their own cubby with their different subjects that go in through here. I need to make a couple more sticker tabs because some things are kind of being combined this year. Like his language and phonics is together, history and science is together in writing, and we I need to make a Bible one for him. And so that's pretty much it. And then they just have their supplies and stuff. He has some manipulations and stuff all down here. So he can kind of keep busy if he needs to. Little pillow because our dog likes to sleep right there. <laughs> um, we use the bouncy ball, yoga balls, because it kind of helps the kids with their energy. They both have a lot of energy. So they can sit on those and kind of roll around and get some of that energy out. And it seems to work a lot better. And then obviously the little carousel. We picked that up at um, Hobby Lobby. And I really would rather have had a white one, but I think it was a good um, call when my husband said, why not do the dark? Because then you will, you know, not have to worry about cleaning it so much. So we like that because they both can share off of it. Then my daughter has her sections here with her math, her writing and spelling, her science and social studies. And then again, I need to make a new clip, uh, new tab for Bible since we actually have more of a dedicated Bible curriculum this year. And then she has all of her art in this drawer and, um, and then she has her busy work, like if she gets done with something and has some time, she can work on stuff like that. And then she just has junk in there. <laughs> she has her own little diffuser here because she likes to diffuse Joy or some other ones that maybe aren't my favorite. So if she wants to diffuse those, she can do that. Um, and then we have our board with this just kind of stuff that needs to stay up, little reminder things for both of them. Um, we have the Jeremiah 29-11 and then we have our classroom kind of rules. And then this board is another thing I'm waiting to get printed. Um, our printer just doesn't print very good. And so I'm going to have it done at UPS. But um, since we're studying the ocean and stuff, I wanted to have, you know, just theme cards and stuff here. But haven't had a chance to print those up. So that will happen as time allows or whatever special theme. Or if we have a holiday, I'll put, you know, it's basically a word wall kind of board. So there you guys go. That is our school room that we are super excited about. And um, it, it seems like this layout works pretty good. It's kind of hard because there's not a lot of walls and stuff, but this seems to work pretty good. And the kids enjoy being able to look out the window instead of at the wall like we did last year. So we went back to this layout. So there you guys go. That's a tour of our homeschool room. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.